Today we are going to climb the Old Snowy Mountain in the Goat Rock Wilderness at an elevation of 7,880 feet, passing through a number of camping sites with plenty of water sources even as late as September along the way. At this point, Adam peeking out above the tree line on a clear day, you could see the, uh, the summit of Adams. This is snow grass flat stretching for several miles with camping sites on either side of the trail. Just walking along the snow grass trail. About five and a half miles. What you see out there is Adams, the majestic Adams, and uh, we probably have about another mile and a half to go, and probably close to 2,000 feet. It's going to be pretty steep. Very often that you see people coming on horses, but right there I see one. Two, three, four, five, six. People on horseback. They're coming up the PCT. Hello. Morning. Another shot of Mount Adams. Looking from up a little bit on the ridge and looking down in the valley, a clear day, low winds, blue sky, and uh, that's Adams. And if I move this side a little bit, you see the northwesterly side of uh, uh, St. Helens. You can see the blast hole as well. Uh, the flats and uh, the left the leftmost is the old snowy the trail just gotten rough and it's gonna get worse uh, from here on uh, through to the summit that one up there is the old snowy that we're gonna go up to right we probably have probably another 1,200, 1,500 feet to go and maybe a mile and a half. Yeah, that's the old snowy. This uh, trail is uh, rocky, but it's not too bad. It's like this from here. Well, for the last mile, it's been like this. And that's gonna be like this all the way to the summit of snowy. Just trail made through rocky terrain. Interesting thing is these rocks seem to split in plates. And there's the snowy we are trying to get to. Crossing section still on snowy. Uh, this is an easy one. Rainier, close, and then there's Goat Lake. What did he say? Formation from where you can take a good look at the Goat Lake from here. The uh, horse. Mounted people took the trail down there to White Pass. I really don't know how the horses managed it. That's a tough one. As you can see where that goes. And we're gonna go this way to the summit. Probably have another 
I don't know, 600, 700 feet to go, half a mile. Several interesting rock formations along the way, such as this, with granite uh, piles formed by the erupting old snowy almost two million years ago, has left a landscape with granites and all kinds of uh, rock formations. This trail along the side of the uh, old snowy would go all the way down to the White Pass, the final uh, summit block of old snowy and uh, it was pretty sketchy at the very top with no clear path and we stopped about 25 feet below the final summit cone of old snowy.